Hello, Type Choice here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to design a 3D beach ball in Illustrator. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I've created this beach ball as you can see right here, and I've used these colors, and you can use whatever colors you would like. So, let's start creating this beach ball. The first thing you want to do is to create a half circle. So let's first find the ellipse tool in the toolbar right here. The keyboard shortcut for that is L. And let's just press on the document and hold Shift and Alt while dragging up. So we get a centered circle and just drag this up just like this and let go. Now we have created a circle and now we want to remove the other parts so we only have a half circle. So let's start with removing this side of the circle. You can do that by going up in this tool right here, direction selection tool. Also press A on your keyboard. And just select this anchor point right here and hit delete. And just like that you now only have a half circle. This might not make sense right now, but later in the video, this will make sense. Now it's time for us to actually create the colors in this beach ball. And I've selected some colors that I want to use for this video. So let's start creating this. In this beach ball, there is six colors around here. So we want to create six boxes. Let me show you. Go up in this tool again and right click and choose rectangle tool. You can also use the keyboard shortcut M and just select this and let's move outside the artboard and just create a rectangle box right here. Just like this. Now we want to copy this so we have five more boxes lining next to each other. You can do that by holding shift and alt and clicking while dragging this until it snaps. Just like this. And now you can hold Ctrl and D and it will create the next one. And just do this until you have six boxes. Just like this. Now we want to color these boxes. So select the first one, the third and the fifth. We now want to color this. So select the eyedropper tool right here. You can also use the keyboard shortcut I and just select the color you would like. Let's start with this orange color, so just select the orange or whatever color you would like. Just like this and hit the V or selection tool. And as you can see, we have now given the three boxes an orange color. Now we want to color the other boxes and that is the same process. Just go in the direct selection tool and just select the other boxes. Use the eyedropper tool again and select the red color. Now we only need to create the last thing, which is the beach ball top right here, this circle. So let's select the rectangle tool again. Let's just create a box on the top right here. We want to make this a bit smaller than these. And let's use a white color. So I've selected the eyedropper tool again and just select this white color right here. And just like that, we have now created the pattern for our beach ball. Now we want to select this and hit Ctrl G for grouping it. You can also go up in Object and choose Group. Then we need to find the Symbols panel in our workspace. If you haven't this already, you can find it up in Windows and go down to Symbols. When these boxes are grouped, you can now drag them up right here. And you can see that it will add a plus sign and just let go of the mouse and this menu will pop up. Let's give this a name. We can call this Beach Ball. The export type should be at Movie Clip, Symbol Type, Dynamic Symbol and just set the registration to the middle. And let's press OK. And just like that we have now created a symbol in the Symbols panel. Now go back to our half circle right here and click on it with the selection tool. It doesn't matter what color this circle is, but now we're actually ready to create the beach ball. So select the circle and go up in 
effects and choose 3D and choose revolve. And as you can see, it has now created a full circle. In the surface, you want to select no shading. We don't want any shading in this beach ball. After that, you want to go down to this called map art. And this menu will pop up. In the symbol, you want to select the symbol we just created, this beach ball right here. And you want to press on this scale to fit. And as you can see right here, it will start to look like a beach ball. Then press OK. And from here, you can start selecting what angle you would like your beach ball to be. So let's select this and drag it a bit down. And you can take the other side here and drag it a bit to the side if you would like. And just customize this until you're happy with the result. Let's say this looks great for now. When you're done, just press OK and you have now created your beach ball. Now we can zoom in a bit and expand this just like this. And as you can see, there is this line right here that we want to remove. So hit the direct selection tool again and just press right here on this anchor point in the middle and delete it. Then select the entire ball with the selection tool and do the same process again. Hit the direct selection tool and press in the middle and delete it. And the line is now gone. And you have now created your beach ball and you can now scale it down if you would like or scale it up. If you want to change the colors in the beach ball and you don't want to do the process again, you can hit the direct selection tool again and just select the parts of the beach ball that you would like to change by holding shift. And you can go over here and choose another color. Thank you so much for watching this Illustrator tutorial. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.